疫苗。There's a poem in here. The arms of Jesus are the cross of Lorraine, both the blood in the arteries and the blood in the vein, both the source of grace and the clear fountain. The arms of Satan are the cross of Lorraine and the same artery and the same vein and the same blood and the troubled fountain. Hmm. I think I'll leave the poem for Gabriel. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Welcome to Rennes le Château. I am afraid we do not have the free room at the moment. Yeah, I, I know. I heard you were booked. It's all right. I'm staying in Mr. Knight's room. Ah, I feel so silly, mademoiselle. I did not know. No, 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 no. See, we, we work together, and the couch in the room is really large enough, and, well, yeah, I prefer my own room, naturally, but there isn't one, so I... Say no more, mademoiselle. Jean is the picture of discretion. <sighs> Fine. Are you Madeline Buzain? I am. I'm Grace Nakamura, a friend of Mosley's. I'd like to join your tour. Haven't I already had this conversation? It was more interesting the first time. You must be talking about Gabriel. Yes, much more interesting. <laughs> you told him it would be 2,000 francs. For him? For you? It is 3,000. What? The tour leaves at 9. If you decide to come along, bring a check. Sure. Fine. Thank you so much. Looks like he's enjoying the sun. I'll wait and talk to him on the tour this morning.
Uh, excuse me. Oh, bonjour. This place is open to the public, isn't it? Of course. I was just, uh, taking my morning walk. The bird watching in this area is superb. Oh? Yeah, the scenery's not bad either. Are you with the tour group? No. I'm Abbe Orno, curator of the church. And yourself, mademoiselle? Oh, I'm with the tour. That is, I will be after this morning. We're taking a tour of the valley. Ah, huh? quelle chance. I was just thinking that I would like to take a drive, but my car is a miserable beast. Well, you'll have to ask Madeleine Boussain if you want to go with us. She's the tour group leader. Ah, Miss Boussain? Of course. Yes, I believe she would make room for me. Thank you for the suggestion, Miss... Nakamura. Yes, thank you, Miss Nakamura. I hope to see you later. It is time to start. Follow me, s'il vous plaît. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, excuse. Sorry. Can everyone see? Oui? Good. The tomb and the hill across the road are believed to be the models for the tomb in a painting by Nicolas Poussin. This painting, Les Bergères d'Arcadie, is a key element in the mystery of Rennes le Chateau. It is said to be one of three paintings that Saunière had copied from the Louvre after his discovery of the parchments. The other two paintings were a painting of a pop, which has since been lost, and a David Tenier painting of St. Anthony. Unfortunately, Tenier did several St. Anthony paintings, and it is unclear which one drew Saunier's eye. Poussin painted Les Bergères in 1640. He may well have known about the local mystery, for he was born in nearby Gisors and was involved with occult and anti-monarchy elements. Several authors have theorized that there are hidden messages in these three paintings. If Poussin's painting has a hidden message, could its resemblance to this exact location be part of that message? And finally, how does the phrase a in Arcadia a go tie into the mystery? These words are written on the tomb in Poussin's painting. They translate roughly as and in Arcadia I Arcadia was a pastoral paradise represented in art and music of the 17th century. Because the words are written on a tomb, the phrase is commonly thought to mean that death exists even in paradise, and yet... Yes? The way it is worded is not the complete thought, or even proper Latin. So what does the phrase mean? Perhaps only Poussin himself, and Saunière, knew the answer. Look around and take some pictures if you like. We'll leave in a few minutes. They're busy. Hey, Mose. Hey, Grace. Fun times, huh? Sure. Great. 
No, thanks. I'll wait until his tongue is inside his mouth. How are you, Signore Bucchelli? <sighs> Fine, Miss Nakamura. Enjoying yourself? Oh, absolutely. I find this whole treasure enigma really fascinating. Hmm. Why would I want to show that to him? Why would I want to show that to him? The Italian looks bored. Why would I want to show that to him? I got some Deutschmarks converted to francs at the airport. Not much to spend it on around here, though. Why would I want to show that to him? He looks preoccupied. They're busy. Attention, let us continue. This hill is known as Roque Blanc, or White Rock. Here at the top are the ruins of Chateau de Blanchefort. The Blancheforts were an important family of local nobles. Their name ties into the history of the Templars and the Cathars, and into the mystery of Rhin le Chateau itself. The chateau that stood here was in Templar hands from 1132 to 1180. The ruins provide a wonderful view of the valley and have figured into several of the geometry-related theories about the Rhin treasure. Indeed. We will stop here for a few moments. Please take advantage of the view. From here one can see Mont Cardu, Rhin in the distance, and the whole valley. Still, feet in the water. Do you see? Yes, I do see. Oh, it's so imposing. It must be the presence. And Blanchefort must be what is meant by the windows of the ruined house. Of course. How marvelous. And what about the red serpent? Red serpent? Did you say a uh, red serpent? No. Uh, no, we weren't talking about a red serpent. Not at all. I said uh, Serplant. I was talking about, uh, uh, yes, Sir Ed Plant. He's a friend of ours. Don't be ridiculous. You were talking about Le Serpent Rouge. Is that a copy? Right. Who's got a copy of Le Serpent Rouge? There is no such document. How would you know, Vittorio? Really? 
Estelle has no such thing. Where did you get it? I heard there was only a couple of copies. No, I... Uh, um, look, perhaps I did say Red Serpent, but we were merely discussing the document. We don't have it. Hmm. Well, for heaven's sake, are you going to search the poor woman? Maybe we should. Right, Madeline? Back off, Wilkes. I was only curious. Morning, Mr. Wilkes. Call me John, love. You're here with that American, aren't you? Yeah. It's Nakamura, by the way. Ms. Right, Missy. I got you. Mr. Wilkes, you seem to know something about this uh, Les Serpents Rouge thing. Fair income, love. It's some pamphlet. It's supposed to have clues about the treasure in it. You don't seem to be too interested in it. Ah, and all kind of red herrings in this thing. Lots of bullshit. Pardon my French. Me? I already got it all figured, so I don't give a toss. You have it all figured out? Uh-huh. You know where the treasure is, then? Just watch and learn, girlie. Watch and learn. You know, I'm not exactly with Mr. Knight. Ah. It's like that, is it? That's right. I've heard you have some interesting equipment. You bet, doll. You know, I've never had me an Asian girl before. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> you, you don't know what you're missing. Maybe we should get together later. You can show me. <clears throat> sure. <clears throat> you bet. Later. Ugh. Good morning, ladies. Grace, isn't it? Look, Estelle, isn't she just as cute as a button? She is. Yes. Of course, she's with that knight fellow. He's obviously the worst sort of man. Lily, don't upset the poor girl. Oh, don't worry about me. Ugh, worst sort. I could not agree with you more. So, are you enjoying the tour? Oh, uh, yes. Um, I overheard you with Madeline. What is the Les Serpents Rouge? No offense, dear. But I couldn't bear to speak on the subject another moment. Such brass that French hussy has. I knew she'd upset you. People are just out to rob you. Steal you blind. It's a brutal business. You're not trying to have your way with this. Are you, dear? Me? Oh, no, of course not. Ah, Signora Bucchelli, hello. Great view, huh? Yes, my child. Very pretty. Have you heard of Les Serpents Rouge before, Signora Bucchelli? Oh, Miss Nakimura. <laughs> Les Serpents Rouge is a fiction, like most of the riddles and so-called parchments surrounding Rennes Le Chateau. You know, I wouldn't pollute my head with it. Say, uh, do you know anything about Les Serpents Rouge? Hmm. Yes, it is an interesting piece. Or so I've heard. Lovely day, isn't it? Hello, Madeline. Hello, Miss Nakamura. You can call me Grace. Hmm. Interesting lecture. Thank you. So, you are the tour guide, right? Tell me, what is Le Serpent Rouge? It's a pamphlet containing a riddle. 
And it's hard to find a copy, I take it. That is right. It was deposited into the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris. According to French law, every written document must be deposited. But then it disappeared. The rumor is that the authors who wrote the riddle died mysteriously. It's a nice view, isn't it, Mr. Baza? Mm, lovely, yes. Have you been in this area before? No, I haven't dared uh, make such a long trip. Uh, what about yourself? No, it's my first time in France. Ah. Say, uh, do you know anything about Le Serpent Rouge? Yes, I have seen this document. Really? Do you have a copy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you. Oh. So, you spent some time with your old pal yesterday, huh? We talked. I figured. You know, Gabriel and I, we've been pretty close. I mean, you know, working together and everything. I know you have. But if I were you, I, I wouldn't, uh... What? You know, Gabe, he's he's such a... He's, he's kind of a... Did he say something about me? No, no, no. I just know Gabe, that's all. You know, there's lots of really great guys out there. Nice guys. Gabriel's changed a lot, Mose. Really? Uh, really? Yeah, it's great then. You know, that's... That's, a uh, That's good. Hey, Mose. Do you know anything about that document they were arguing about? The Serpent Rouge? Le Serpent Rouge. Hmm. Never heard of it. But wasn't there something about Moulin Rouge? Uh, you mean Moulin Rouge. No, that was a cabaret, Mose. And a painting by Toulouse-Lautrec. Oh. Probably not related then. How did you get into the Rennes Chateau mystery anyway? I never heard of it. I saw the ad for the tour. It just kind of jumped up and bit me. <laughs> oh. So, you never told me what you thought about the treasure. As a matter of fact, I do have a few ideas, you know. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, I, I have some really insightful, uh, but maybe I shouldn't. Uh, what? What? Nothing final, that is. Uh, say, why don't we have dinner tonight? Just, you know, you and me, we could, uh, you know, talk about it. What about Gabriel? Gabe? Gabe's not into the treasure thing. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's probably best not to talk around the others anyway. Right. What you thinking about? Uh, just wondering what Gabriel's up to. Oh. <laughs> 